by myself. Legs tomorrow, and that's my final episode. This is what Mr. Olympia does in his spare time, picks up dog crap. Keep the shade shut to keep the heat off. Whoever watch my videos knows that there's a lot of cooking that goes on. One of, one of the few guys that actually cooks all his food at home. I only eat out when I'm traveling. And I'm not a wine drinker, so I actually have a glass of grape juice every day, which is very similar. A glass of wine is good for the heart. So we got enough for two meals here. Get about 16 ounces of chicken. This is uh, what they call ground chicken breast, organic. So I have this. I have this four times a day. Then I have steak one time. I have eggs one time, and then I have a shake one time. So that's seven meals. So I try to eat eight ounces, uh, eight ounces every meal. Crabs, you don't eat onions. Why are you eating that? Crabs, you eat onions now. Not that I'm back in Vegas, you know. I didn't. I just. Uh, I saw him like. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back and forth, dude. I'm working with an agent out of. I mean, I start training for the show soon, so I'll be like. You know, I'll be home more, which is good.
Hey, hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. One for Mr. Manager and one for me. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm eating. Eating uh, chicken and rice. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but everyone gets on there and defends me, kind of, don't they? In the banking for, uh, for KMC. But in the meantime, I'm going to go to the post office. I'm going to, uh, Trace. Good boy. Guys, okay. You can come in the house now. We could have gone in there actually. Besides the gas tank on, the gas tanks on the other side, so. Multi do these or no? Multi do these, yes. I have two of those. Is there a label I need to pull out? drove all the way to Costco because we're going to save like 20 cents a gallon right now. You got to do that when it costs you $80 to fill your gas tank on I have how many vehicles, four cars or whatever. So. How much is that a gallon? He says uh, 317. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't driven this car in a couple weeks. So, I've been driving the Cayenne. I drove the 6 Series before I left for Cali. I rotate cars a lot, so. So benefits of having a BMW. Cost you $74 to fill the tank. <laughs> designer mitts. She's the one that put this whole package together in here. My book right here. This is the book of all the... Everything you've spent and all the pro product you've purchased. How much are we up to now? Um, just on our end. <laughs> just on our end without all the big walls. Or, well, no, some of them are in. So let's go right here. To Hold on, I gotta give Carrie a kiss. <laughs> How's your day? Good. With good mitts? Good day. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, he's so if you can kind of look at this at an angle, that's the tapestry. This is it. Um, it's about 40 some inches wide. It has gold beads at the bottom, fit large ones, some at the top, and then finials at the sides. Okay? And then she's going to put something else on the And then you'll love what's going on the side of them. Let me show you that. It's a real. Card. This whole top comes right up. You like that? Mm -hmm. It's very attractive. You'll like it a lot. Okay. My dad's going to take the other one. Anyway, yes, right? I'm going to get it for him. And I brought that also, which I brought this. Right on the left. I'll show you. Always was. This is it. This is, this is my destiny. Man. And I, I, I've been working so hard for this goal. And this is my opportunity. I've been waiting for a title shot forever. So many guys have beaten before and knocked out had title shots and been champions. And I never got that shot, I never got that Trace eat any of this. A little sea salt. Jay's favorite. Okay. Uh, supplements. All plastic utensils. We got uh, probably eight ounces of beef here, half a cup of rice, and a cup of Ezekiel cereal. So we got about 100 carbs, a little over 100 carbs, and about sixty grams of protein. The cereal also has protein too, so.
So here we are at, at the North, North Las Vegas Club, the Gold Gym on, uh, I guess it's Craig Road and Valley. And uh, we're here late, it's like nine o'clock. Come back for a second workout. I come here for my little shot. They carry all the muscle tech supplements and also every other brand and they also make a lot of shakes here. So uh, she's always in the gym here, so. Yeah, my uh, second home from home, I'm Robin. I, I'm uh, one of the operators and um, GM of our City Blend Smoothie Cafes. We have five locations currently in Las Vegas. Right now we're, like you said, at our um, North Las Vegas location. Um, we sell anywhere from protein smoothies to energy drinks and a lot of supplements, pretty much to carry anything that anyone uh, wants to either bulk up, slim down, or um, build, or even maintain what their, um, what their weight's at. So when I come into the gym, I have a place where I can have a shake. So also for the people that travel and are looking for that extra boost or for a post-workout nutrition shake, you can uh, stop by City Blends in any one of Las Vegas Bulls Gym locations and uh, fill up and get your calories or get your little uh, energy boost on. And you'll probably see her here a lot of the time, which is cool. Since she, uh, she seems to be all over the place, you might see her at three different locations <laughs> in one day. Yep. So. Five places at once, like I always say. And yeah, stop by and say hi and try out one of our drinks. It's almost 294. I'm the only one with balls enough to get on a scale. All these other guys will say I'm this or that. Don't matter anyway, because two weeks from the Olympia, I'll still weigh 294, and I'll be about 3% body fat instead of about 7. And you know it's true, Mitch. Right? <laughs>
Wait a little lighter here so we can squeeze. The whole key, people doing pull downs, which people don't really recognize, is you want to use your hands like hooks. A lot of people, what they try to do is they try to wrap their hands around the bar like this. Okay? What that does is it brings too much of the biceps and other stuff. So, what you want to do is, especially when you go heavy, what the straps are for, you wrap the strap under, you hook it, and you use your hands as hooks. So if you notice, when I do it, you won't see my hands closed like this, you'll actually see them open. And I'll just have my fingers hooked on the bar. This allows you to use more of your back, okay? When I want, when you when I pull, even with the heavy weight, watch how my hands are. You'll see that they'll be open like this, and I'll just be using my fingers as a hook. And that's the secret to feeling the back. And you'll notice if you watch the rest of this video, you'll see that on everything I do: uh, one arm rows, uh, T bar rows, bent barbell rows. I'm always hooked. Rather than grab, I hook it. Okay. So a little tidbit of knowledge for you, uh, you guys out there trying to build it. This is it. Right here. This is uh, this is the secret. Okay. It's called the Jay Cutler hook. Stretch a lot some more.
All right, so workout number two today. We did uh, upper back, meaning uh, we worked our lats, like the uh, all the width movements. So we keep these separate from our heavier back day training, which is a lot of rows, deadlifts, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we started with the pull up, which I use a weight assist machine. Now, reason why my weight's a little heavier now, but I'm really trying to squeeze more than anything. Right now, you know, with the active release today on the arm and uh, the tendonitis I've had in the bicep, I'm trying to be careful because it's a very hard movement on my forearm. So I've been pulling a lot with the weight assisted machine. And uh, we did a bunch of sets there. I'm trying to get 12 repetitions each set. Okay, to pop the lats out. Then we will go to pull downs behind the neck. I uh, banged out three or four sets there. Same rep range, 12, 12 reps. And then uh, we moved to a close grip handle, which we just did for two sets to work. Pulling the lats a little more. Um, especially hitting kind of a little bit of lower lat uh, with, with that. That's what I feel the most there. And then uh, we moved over to high hammer rows, uh, which I've been incorporating since last year. Uh, really trying to yank the last. We went up pretty heavy there, five plates each side, and uh, kept the reps, you know, anywhere between eight to twelve. I think the last that we finished were about nine or ten. And uh, then we stretch it out with some uh, cable hyperextensions, kind of stretch and pull with the lats a little bit. Work really work on just concentrate and bring the lats out. And uh, that's it for upper back. Usually it's about three movements. I like to really do the pull-ups or revert. Uh, uh, behind the back uh, pull downs and then uh, hammer rows. Those have usually been my three um, main back width movements last year. And uh, as you see, you know, my back has definitely increased a little more in width. And um, we should be able to see that come the Olympia stage and be able to dominate once again on the back poses and uh, go from there. So hopefully, uh, you know, you'll see a substantial difference The problem is, is a lot of times when your lats are that big, you have bigger arms, and of course, now I'm trying to murder my arms to get my arms a lot bigger because on the front of the bicep, there's a lot of arm size when your lats are popping way out. I think that was the case with Dorian Yates a lot. You know, his lats were so big, it kind of hit the real size of his bicep, so...
sign go that way? I need um two burgers, okay, but I need three patties on each one. No salt on the patties. Uh, you want cheese on it? One slice of cheese. One slice of cheese. Okay, so I want a triple. Triple meat, no salt, one slice of cheese. Okay. You want onions on it? I just want lettuce, I think. Just lettuce, no salt. Three patties, no cheese. Lettuce, no salt. Three patties, no cheese, no salt. Um, so we have yours, is uh, just three patties, one cheese, no salt, lettuce, ketchup, and mustard only. Two of those, Two right? yeah. A final salt well done with the... Uh, yeah, I want a water. Water cup? I'm all set. A bo I want a bottle of water. Here we are at In-N-Out Burger. I got three patties. One slice of cheese on two burgers after the workout here. So these two are mine. And this one I'm gonna eat. No salt. Um, just lettuce. One slice of cheese and three patties. This is gonna help get me through the tough leg workout tomorrow and help me retain the title for Mr. Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> I come uh, to In and Out once in a while, like for a splurge. Especially now, since I'm going to start dieting for the contest here early July, so I got to get my last few uh, fill in. Um, this is probably what I eat most. If I do cheat on my diet, it would be uh, in and out. Um, usually late night. Usually my last meal of the day, just to get the calories, because it is hard for me to eat this kind of food and uh, could keep eating through the day. So here we are. At, uh, what time is it? 11:15 on uh, Tuesday night eating in and out burger, so I'm gonna rock it down, wash it down with a little water. No french fries for me, so I'll just stick to the burgers. So even Mr. Olympia eats burgers once in a while.